Good afternoon, everyone. I'm just gonna uh, wait and see how many people I'm able to get on this live stream. Hopefully for once I won't get interrupted uh, by Facebook and Facebook will not infringe upon our First Amendment. But you never know. So uh, you're probably wondering why I'm doing this live live stream, and then at the same time, it's like I barely do any live streams. So what's the purpose? What's the motive be behind this? Well, we're gonna go ahead and talk about uh, corrupt Gloria Navarro as she perpetuates fraud upon the court, and uh, that's gonna be my main focus today. And then why corrupt Gloria Navarro is acting the way she is. But also, I want to go and do a little bit of uh, a flashback of my original video with respect to Gloria Navarro, her husband Ryan Rutledge, connected with Rory Reed and Harry Reed, and Steve Berriman and Barry Goldink, also to Chinese giant uh, ENN. Uh, you guys can follow along. I provided hyperlinks. I put the names out there. Uh, that's probably one-fourth of the material that I've been that I've had for over a year and a half and certain people have that material in which I've been which I, has been put together uh, I have not made too much of an effort in regards to this material coming out uh, for the simple fact that none of the attorneys uh, even in the Oregon or Nevada has tried to use this material I blame more the attorneys of what's happening in in, in the people's courtroom through the actions of corrupt Gloria Navarro for the simple fact that not one attorney has requested that corrupt judge to be recusing herself. Why is that? That's the most fundamental question to remove an attorney, to remove a judge. Uh, corrupt Gloria Navarro has violated multiple, multiple of, uh, of, of, our, of the political prisoners due process. And there's a reason behind that. There's always a reason behind everything. And it's all about money, land, water, and minerals. And who does it have who's connected to money, land, water, and minerals? Corrupt Harry Reid. And who was behind appointing corrupt Gloria Navarro? Harry Reid. Who does uh, Brian Rutledge, Gloria Navarro's husband, worked for or worked with? Rory Reid. And does jobs for Harry Reid. So once you know who Ryan Rutledge is and who Gloria Navarro represents, then you'll understand the corruption that's going on in that courtroom. Uh, the corruption so deep that that it's worse than Washington D.C. This shouldn't surprise anyone uh, that has been attending these court hearings or people that are actually uh, seeing John Lamb's live stream. Uh, Brandon Thornton's live stream so uh, this shouldn't be a surprise but my biggest surprise is why hasn't the uh, the, uh, the political prisoners attorney pushed this agenda why haven't they gone to the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals with respect to recusing corrupt Glory, uh, Gloria Navarro or at least to the Supreme Court with respect to Gloria Navarro's actions it's her actions because she's covering up the corruption in Clark County. Uh, matter of fact, Congress has the power to impeach corrupt Gloria Navarro. Her actions are justifiable for impeachment. Uh, these are facts. These are not lies. Not that she should have recused herself when she started uh, uh, presiding over this case because of conflict of interest, but continues to preside this overlooking the conflict of interest. There's multiple of co a conflict of interest in, uh, with regards to this case, and I'm going to lay it out. The BLM with Daniel P. Love and the connection with Harry Reid. What about the BLM's connection with Neo Crohn's and Barrett Gold Inc., in which Gregory Crohn's, Neo Crohn's father, works for Barrett Gold Inc.? What about Steve Bevelin, Harry Reid's son-in-law that represents Barrett Gold Inc. and also is a lobbyist for Barrett Gold Inc. Isn't that a conflict of interest that has tied to her husband, Brian Rutledge? 
and herself, Gloria Corrup Navarro. These ties have been put together. They have been uh, presented and articulated to certain people. And yet this information continues not to be used by these, by these attorneys. Why? Why hasn't it? Why hasn't any of the videos gone to the attorneys? Why when we have a public forum so I can present these documents in front of the political prisoner's family and the judges and the attorneys, I apologize, and look at the attorney's eyes and let them see what kind of, uh, what kind of excuse, pathetic excuse they're going to have with regards to the documents. Because they're all going to be pathetic excuses. You know, the, these political prisoners shouldn't be incarcerated. They should, have been, they should have been released a long time ago. At a minimum, have Corrupt Navarro recuse herself, disqualify herself, or remove herself from the case. There's enough evidence to put together for a recusal. Why hasn't this been brought up? Why hasn't the, has any attorneys gone ahead and write to Congress and, because the House, the House and the Senate is full of Republicans and have a Republican bring a, a letter of impeachment with, with respect to Gloria Corp Navarro? But there's only two, two fundamental things that I can put tied together. That's Dean Heller, Representative Dean Heller. And Mark Amodi that are in bed with Harry Reid. And both are Republicans and possibly are preventing this from happening. Meaning telling the Patriots one thing and the Bundy family one thing that we are with you. At the same time giving them the shaft what's happening behind closed doors. But nobody wants to talk about that. that you know that's not, that's not a convenient. That, it seems like that's not, that's, does not convene a convenient for somebody to know the information. This information has been laid out in multiple occasions in multiple videos. All you got to look at is the land exploration satellite in which Harry Reid with Barrett Gold Inc. and George Soros have ties to, connections to. All you got to do is go land exploration satellite and you'll see Barrett Gold Inc. involved. So let's see who brings in Barrett Gold Inc. Again, newsflash. Harry Reid, Rory Reid. Uh, Steve Beverly, uh, George Soros, and uh, and there's a couple more names that I'm forgetting. All connected to Harry Reid with Land Exploration Satellite and Barrett Gold Inc. And who's behind this Barrett Gold Inc. that helps Barrett Gold Inc.? Gloria Corrupt Navarro. This is a fact. These are not that I'm making it up. I, the evidence has been out there. I will repost an old video of a case that I that that I stated, and you guys can go back to that case and see who is the attorney representing Barrett Gold Inc. Steve Beverly, that's Harry Reid's son-in-law. So, do you understand the level of corruption that's happening in that defecto courtroom? This is our facts. I don't care if you're Republican, I don't care if you're Democrat. Mark Amodi and Dean Hall are Republicans are in bed with Harry Reid, a Democrat, a criminal, a corrupt politician. That also went after Donald Trump. You know, this are facts that I've been laying out for a long time. Matter of fact, I put hyperlinks and that's one tenth of the information that I have. One tenth of what I'm giving you guys. And you guys can go each hyperlink by hyperlink by hyperlink. Even hyperlinks that I go back to, to these to, to the videos, I am post more information to collaborate on what I'm stating. Not my documents, but even documents in which Harry Reid signed, participated, was directly involved. Including his son-in-law, Steve Beverly, a Bevinger. It's there. I put the information out for the families to bring it to the attorneys. I bring the information so they can go ahead and, and, file, and, and file impeachments uh, with respect to corrupt Gloria Navarro. Even recusing corrupt Gloria Navarro. Correct. Barrett Gold Inc. is tied to the uh, Rothschild, Sa uh, Sadi, Sadie. Uh, this is no lie, no secret. 
the same tentacles that are behind giving uranium to North Korea, behind the same tentacles that gave uh, the armed ISIS, the same tentacles that were behind Fast and Furious, the same tentacles uh, with regards to Child Protective Services, the same tentacles behind the BLM, Department of Fish and Wildlife, the U.S. Forestry Service, the, the BLM, same tentacles, same people. The same people, the same 1% that run our country has a stranglehold on our judicial system, on our legislative branch, and our, and, our and our executive branch in the local level. Until we understand that our country has been infiltrated by criminals like Anna J. Brown, Anna Akins, Gloria Navarro, and Stacey Beckerman, we're, we're doomed. We have to understand that we got to process the information. We got to connect the dots. I don't do this because I enjoy doing this. I don't like putting myself in situations. But, but I do have a conscience. And I bring this evidence for the American people to read. Not just myself. There's also people out there that have brought this information out. Have wrote multiple uh, um, articles with respect to this. All we need is the American people to focus on the names. Connect the dots. Who funds this? Why isn't the ACLU involved? The ACLU is on and owned and operated by George Soros. Do you expect the ACLU to come and defend the, the political prisoners and exercise their constitutional right to due process? Hell no. The same George Soros that has bought MSNBC, CBS, ABC, CNN. Do you honestly think these news stations are going to report the truth? Hell no. They have a stronghold on the media, on, on, our, on our courts. I mean, all you got to do is follow the money. In addition, so under 5 U.S. code, through their hedge funds, every time they rule in favor of the government, corrupt Gloria Navarro profits. But now I found out that not just Gloria corrupt Navarro profits, but also the prosecutor profits for a guilty verdict. And the, 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 the DA and the, the DA, uh, the DA's office, uh, um, profits from this, but also the ones that defend the Patriots profit from this. Even if it's a loss, they will still profit from this. How is that justice? Isn't that a conflict of interest between bar members profiting at the expense of the American taxpayers using defecto laws against us in which we pay their salary? Isn't that mind-boggling? Shouldn't this baffle every American, every American people out there? They are profiting from us to rule against us. How is that justifiable? How can that? How how can we how can we allow that? And it'll continue to go on, just like child protective services and their secret courts. Because how much money they made? Look at Senator Nancy Senator Nancy Schaefer exposing this. It's the same thing they have in family courts through the secret courts. It's happening now in public. This should not be a surprise to anyone. And it's time for the American people to come together and bring these criminals in front of a common law grand jury. Because that's what they are. Criminals using defecto, defecto laws to prosecute us at tire, taxpayers' expense, which is us. We the people pay their salary to screw us over. That's what is happening in corrupt Gloria Navarro's courtroom. And we're funding it. And she is laughing to the bank. Regardless, if she, if she'll laugh more to the bank if, if the jury rules in her favor. She'll be laughing to the bank. And then even if the, 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 pro, uh, um, the, the prosecutors win, then she'll still have... Uh, we're still left to the bank because we paid her salary. No matter what, win, lose, or draw, corrupt, Gloria Navarro wins. Harry Reid wins. Rory Reid wins. Steve Beverly wins. K. Rory wins. Chinese giant ENN wins. The BLM wins. Daniel P. Love wins. George Soros wins. They all win. 
This should not be a surprise. I've been saying this for a whole, almost a year, almost two years. You guys can go back all to my live stream videos. I've made the connection. This is, these are facts. Not that these are facts. I've been saying this for over a year. A year and a half probably. It shouldn't surprise anybody or anyone. There's a lot of researchers out there that have been pumping a lot of information and the attorneys for some for some reason, some crazy reason out there, won't use it. I have no idea why. Maybe they're in bed with Harry Reid. Maybe they're getting money on the side for Harry Reid or George Soros or the ACLU or Center of Poverty. Maybe they have their money ties to all this through their hedge funds and earmarks. But I'm more than willing to go to Nevada right in front of that Clark County uh, court again with the families lined up there with the old keepers and the patriots and lay out the evidence and look at the attorneys and tell them, what the hell are you doing? What the hell's going on? Are you in bed with these criminals? Why aren't you not recusing corrupt Gloria Navarro? I mean, these are the most fundamental questions that should be bringing up. And I'm not even an attorney, but I do study the defective laws. And I do watch the defective courts. And that's about empowering ourselves. And at the end of the day, you are the media. And the only way the truth will come out is if you circulate these videos. Circulate all the videos that I put out there. Because this work, it belongs to the people. To the Native Americans, to the ranchers out there, and to those families that are losing their house over the, or near or around a national monument. They need to know this. As I always say, this is the people's information. This is not for my self-interest, but for America. And all I need America to do is circulate the videos and let the American people look through the hyperlinks and look, make the connections and get educated. Because we need each other. I don't care if you're Republican, Democrat, Libertarian. I don't care if you're with Antifa, Occupy Wall Street, Oath Keepers and Three Percenters. We need each other. We need to come together because these criminals are defrauding all of us. Every single one of them, they are defrauding us. One by one, we are being defrauded. And they're laughing to the bank. All they, want to do, all they want is for us to continue to be divided. And the longer we are divided, the easier it is, the easier it is for them to accomplish the fraud. And they will continue to perpetuate the fraud as we continue to be divided. It's time for all these groups to come together. And those that promote division are the ones that I should be questioning. Those are the ones that every American person should be questioning. Because one way, shape, or form, somebody's making money in the back end through the help of George Soros and the Clinton Foundation and John Podesta. All I'm saying is, if we continue to be divided, we're going to continue to be screwed. And those that want division are the ones every American person should start looking into. I don't, as I say it to you again, Republican, Democrat, Libertarian, and Constitutionalist. Catholic, Jewish, Muslim, I can care less. White, black, brown, Chinese, I can care less. Because at the end of the day, we're all getting screwed. By these criminals. This is my point. At the end of the day, every Friday after you work 40 hours, look at your paycheck. How much is it going to these corrupt government officials? You're getting screwed. We're all getting screwed. Until we start realizing how bad we're getting screwed, how these guys are profiting from our water, our minerals, our land for their hedge funds, then we are done as a society and we have no future for our children and we continue to send our military to fight a rich man's war. And that's the truth. 
a rich man more while we continue to divide. So with regards to Gloria Navarro and her and her husband Brian Rutledge and Harry Reid, Rory Reid, Neil Crones, Gregory Crones, I shouldn't be a surprise. They own those courts. If those walls can talk, <laughs> they'll be humming. They can definitely carry a tune. That's how corrupt that place is. All I'm telling you is that what the hell are the attorneys doing? At the end of the day, I'm not the one facing these charges. All I'm doing is bringing you the evidence. I'm bringing you the truth. And are you going to hold your, those attorneys accountable? Are they in bed with Gloria Navarro and Ryan Rutledge and Rory Reed and Harry Reed and, and Dean Heller and Mark uh, uh, Modi? Are they in bed with them? Only you guys can decide that by going through the evidence and circulating the videos. I make zero money off of this. I have not asked for one dime from anybody. I do this because I want the truth to be known. Because I'm tired of getting screwed. So at the end of the day, this is not about me. This is about you. About us. We the people. So all I'm saying is, I beg of you. You are the voice. You can circulate this material. You can educate the people through the power of your mouse, your keyboard, your voice. Because only it only takes a collective few of us to continue educating America. Now we'll stand as long as I can with your support. But again, I make zero money. No money comes out of this. All my time, money, ink, all that, I, zero. I don't profit for standing up in the clerk. I, when I travel to go talk to Shauna Cox, I profit zero. I make no money out of this. So for those out there that are profiting off of this, bravo. This is about our country and this is how I feel about our country and our military. I love my country, I love my, my military. I love our children. Because they are the future of this country. At the end of the day, I really do wish everybody the best of luck. Um, I wish the, the, the best for the families. And I hope they start getting educated ASAP. Because uh, these criminals won't stop until they break them. And that's what they're doing, trying to break them. And through those criminals, uh, FBI agents, that we, we, that we have an eye on you. Just like those criminal marshals, because remember, not all FBI agents are criminals. There are good FBI agents, and not all marshals are criminals. There are good uh, marshals out there. But we do have an eye on these criminal corrupt agents, because that's what they are. No different than we have our eyes on these attorneys, just like we have our eyes on Gloria Navarro. We're going to expose you for your corruption, for aiding and abetting, for fraud upon the court. Conflict of interest, hindering prosecution, obstruction of justice. These are crimes that you are committing. And these crimes can be proven in a lawful court, a jury of a proper peers. Not of your peers, of the proper peers, of the people. So to all those American people out there that continue to support me and continue to support the information, God bless you. And God bless our military and God bless our children. Because right now, we are being tested. So at the end of the day, I thank everybody. And, uh, and once again, you know, uh, not for me, but for the Bundy family and all, our, and, and all the political prisoners, give a hug and kiss to your kids. Because that's what they're sacrificing. And your grandchildren. So thank you again and God bless.